welcome back everyone so if you bought a new brand computer of windows 11 or installed windows 11 then there are some important work that every windows 11 user are supposed to do so make sure that you do not miss them and it's really important and really recommended for each and every user so without any delay let's quickly get started so number one that is the most basic common and very important step that you have to do is you need to update your windows and all kind of drivers for that you need to click on your windows search type update click on check for updates and here again you can click on check for update if there is any kind of update available kindly go ahead and update them and once it's been done you need to scroll down a bit and click on advanced option again you scroll down and in the additional option you will find the optional update click on it and here it will let you know if there is any kind of update available related to your driver now keep in mind any kind of driver like network graphic card audio they will not properly work until and unless they have the latest driver update so select whichever update is available and then click on download and install so after updating your windows your windows will work properly without any kind of problem with the full security and updating the drivers will make sure that your all kind of hardware work properly and now next you have to install some important software on your windows 11. now the new brand machine or the reinstalled windows come with a limited third party application and there are some important program software that every user need for example browser like google chrome or opera whichever you recommend the most media player like vlc media player and the Revo uninstaller that I basically recommend to each and every user. So probably you will have the Microsoft Edge. So you can bring it up. Then you can type Chrome download. And you will be getting the first link. You can click on it. Again click on download Chrome. And then you can start installing the Chrome browser. Similarly for VLC media player. You can search for VLC media player. Click on the first link again. Click on download VLC. And it will be quickly downloaded. And then you can go with the installation step. Similarly, the third that I would recommend you, that is the Revo uninstaller. So search for Revo uninstaller, click on the first link, click on free download. Now basically this Revo uninstaller will be helping you to completely uninstall any kind of application or program from your computer. So it's really recommended and I recommend each and every customer that you should always go and install this application. And the next time whenever you have to uninstall any kind of software or any kind of application completely from the C drive, from the setting, from the registry, then this software will do that work for you. Apart of that, if you also have some kind of Word work, any kind of Excel work, then you can also go with the MS Office. And now next you also need to debloat your Windows 11 because it comes with many kind of bloatware and it's really recommended that you should go ahead and remove them and even disable many kind of unwanted application and features. So this will be surely improving the performance so for that click on the windows icon and here you'll find tons of bloatware that exactly you don't need so click on all apps look for the application like if you don't need the copilot then you can right click and choose uninstall then you can look for other bloatware like get started clip jam right click choose uninstall click uninstall again then you have the microsoft team go ahead and uninstall it Similarly, if you don't need the OneDrive, you can go ahead and uninstall it. Similarly, you have to look for the other application, other kind of bloatware that you don't need or you don't want on your computer, go ahead and uninstall them. Once you are done from the setting, left hand side, you will have to click on privacy and security. Then under the windows permission, you have to click on general and disable all these permission. Do the same with the speech, inking and typing personalization, diagnostic and feedback then you can come to the app permission and whichever you don't need whichever application you don't use like camera mic notification that's really annoying so go ahead and disable them so you can keep scrolling down like contacts calendar phone call call history messaging i don't believe that any computer user do all these kind of work okay so you can just select them and disable all of them so once you are done with this now next we also need to create a local account on the windows 11 in case if you are signed in with the microsoft account so in the settings only from the left hand side you can click on accounts then scroll down a bit look for other users you can click on it then click on add account 
then it will ask you how will this person sign in so click on i don't have the person sign in information then click add a user without a microsoft account and now you can give the local account name that you prefer so i will type crown then type the desired password that you need and then you have to click on next now you will find that the new local account is being created on windows 11. now this can be really useful for you maybe in future you don't want to go with a microsoft account then you can switch to a local account and you can continue with this and this can even help you in many other ways like in future if you forget the microsoft account login information or if you have any other kind of problem then you will have an alternate local account through which you can log in and now next we will be enabling the old context menu on windows 11. now what happened i have seen majority of the people they really don't like the new context menu and if you're one of them and in order to bring the old context menu you can click on your windows search type registry click on registry editor click on yes now here from the left hand side you have to look for h key current user double click on it then you have to look for software double click on it then you have to look for classes again double click on it and in the classes you have to look for cls id so scroll down to the c section you will find the cls id once you get it right click on it hover up to new click on key and rename it with this code and this code you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste over here so once this key is created again right click on it hover up to new click on key and this one you have to rename it as inprog server 32 now again you will be getting this name in the description so you can copy and paste here once you have created click on it then on the right hand side you will find the default value just make a double click on it and make sure there is nothing in the value data then finally click on ok and now you can close it and now in order to apply the changes either you have to go ahead and restart the computer or you can also restart the file explorer so right click on the windows icon click on task manager here you have to look for the windows explorer in case if you don't find then you can open up the file explorer then you can minimize it and now you will find the windows explorer over here just right click on it click on restart and the next time when you will right click on the desktop you will find the old context menu even if you right click on any of the applications so you will find the old context menu and now next you also need to make sure that you're using the right power plan on your windows 11 pc and laptop now depending if you're using a laptop or a pc and what kind of requirement you have like you are on a laptop and you are more concerned about the battery backup then you have to go with the power saver or the balanced power plan but if you are on a pc even on a laptop and you are more concerned about the performance then you have to go with the high performance so for that you need to click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl again hit the enter key now this will list you all kind of power plan and by default it will be selected to balanced so as i said if you are on a laptop and you are more concerned about the battery backup then you can go with the power saver but if you are on a pc or a laptop and you need more performance especially if you do the gaming then you have to click on show additional plan and then you need to select the high performance now keep in mind that this will not be doing any kind of magic but yes of course there will be some kind of difference so now let's move with the next recommendation where i recommend each and every windows user that they should install a virtual machine or the windows virtual machine that is the sandbox now why i'm recommending you to do that because i have seen many people having the issues with their real computer they get hacked by opening any kind of suspicious website or opening any kind of link or giving the access of their computer now what you can do in order to do some kind of testing you can install any kind of operating system inside your real computer using a virtual machine and windows 11 give you the default option by the name sandbox so if you click on your windows search type turn windows you will be getting turn windows feature on or off you need to click on it and here you have to scroll down and look for the windows sandbox once you get it you need to check this option then you need to click on ok and once it will be applied you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and after that you can install the virtual machine and after that you can install any kind of operating system and you can test it on your real computer only 
if you need a detailed video on this let me know in the comment section i will create a dedicated video on the sandbox and now the next recommendation is for the chrome user so if you are using the chrome browser on your new laptop or pc there is a very useful extension that i recommend each and every people that will be helping you in tons of ways so open up your chrome browser and then you have to search for square x extension then you need to click on this one square x be secure anonymous private online chrome web store then click on add to chrome click on add extension once added click on the puzzle icon at the right in top and here you'll find the square x click on the pin icon so once it will be pinned now what are the benefit so the next time when you click on this square x it says get started now it will ask you to log in with any kind of google twitter microsoft or any other kind of email account and once you will be logged in the next time when you click on the square x icon you will find four different options here the first one is the disposable browser what you can do you can consider this as a vpn and if you want to browse to any other location like germany you can select it click on start and this will be opening a browser with a location of germany so wait for a few seconds let me show you now here you can see that it's open with the germany location it's showing you all the detail now if i bring any of the website like youtube so now you can see even the language has been changed and if you have a look here in the youtube icon the location has been changed so if i do any kind of browsing now i will be getting the recommendation according to that country and even if i open any kind of suspicious website or any kind of link nothing is going to happen with my real computer so this way you are absolutely safe you are browsing anonymously without any kind of problem not only this if you again click on it it says disposable file viva so if you again click on start now here let's say if you have downloaded any kind of file or you save any kind of attachment and you're not sure what exactly it contain then you can click on browse file here locate to the place where you have downloaded it i will select the bat file now i can view that what exactly this bat file contain so that before running it i can make myself assured that i'm not going to do anything wrong okay so this is the second benefit next again if you click on it it says disposable email now if you remember while uh, logging to this square x it asked me to log in with an email account not only this if you go to any other kind of website like canva pixel or any other they ask you to log in and you don't want to share your personal email in that scenario you can just use this temporary email you can copy it go to that particular website click on login click on continue with email and now you can type the same email that you copied from here it says the code has been sent again you can see that we have received the code on the square x inbox notification so i can click on it and i can copy now the code then i can enter over here and now i can log into this canva account so this way i don't have to share my personal email with each and every website okay now let's move with the last and the final recommendation that i would recommend you to go ahead and create a restore point so basically restore is a kind of a snapshot that windows take when you create it and let's say in the future if you have any kind of problem with a computer where it's not booting up or any kind of virus has been infected or you lost any kind of data then you can restore your computer back to that particular date when the computer was working fine for that you need to click on your windows search type restore click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will find to create a restore point click on create in case if the create option is not highlighted click on configure turn on the system protection click on apply click on ok click on create again give any name that you want to give click on create and it will take few seconds only and the restore point will be successfully created now in future if you have any problem so what you can do again you can come back to the same page this time instead of clicking on create you have to click on system restore click on next and you will see that the restore point you created is being displayed over here so you can select this option click on next and the computer will start restoring the computer back to that particular date when the computer was working fine so these are the best nine recommendation guys i recommend to each and every 
a windows user and if you also have installed recently windows 11 or bought a new windows 11 machine then kindly go ahead and apply all these recommendation and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye